I've always looked forward to a, a, a situation where I can actually blow up things like videos I recorded on the phone and pictures I took on the phone to actually see the accurate pixels or how much resolution the image has. Sometimes in the phone screen it's difficult to see how the images or the videos are looking until you have it on a bigger screen where you can actually see the amount of pixels that you are able to manage in the video or in the picture. So this Samsung DeX actually solves that problem. In fact, it's so different to see something that is actually handheld and actually can also be converted to more like a desktop or a, a into a wide screen like that. You know, it's so nice. And given that this phone comes with 12 gig RAM, this is a Samsung Note 10 Plus. Samsung Note 10 Plus. It's actually uh, one of the flagship old flagship phones, but it still works with Samsung Desk, and that's one good thing about it. And that was one of the reasons why I purchased it. So this time around, I want to quickly show you how I set up my Samsung Desk. But before I go, I do that. I need to show you some of the accessories I had to get in order to make this possible because. You need to connect to your type c port to be able to access the samsung desk yeah i've heard that it works with the, the pc or windows pc uh, maybe mac pc i don't know about that but i've never tried it with windows pc i prefer to have it as an independent independent entity and work with it independently although there are a lot of things to consider so i got things like this is a phone holder this phone holder is the reason why i got this particular type is so that sometimes when you put on the samsung desk you need to be able to see the screen or be able to access it easily to be able to you know use it as a trackpad on the samsung desk so i'm going to keep this here because that is where I'm going to have it working for me. So the second thing is this. It's a dongle for, for connecting to... Now, this is, this is what I'm trying to show you here with the pots and the rest of the things there with the USB-C cord there. Okay, so what this does is to connect to the monitor via HDMI. Then you can you connect you give put a power source here through a USB Type C to this point. Then you can now connect your uh, keyboard and mouse and other things. Then this one goes directly to the phone's Type C connector. Okay, so this is the second thing and I'm going to attach it to the phone like this and here it is. So now I'm going to place it on the phone holder if you can see that. Now we have this set up. Okay, so this is the second thing. Then this is the other one. This is a, a keyboard and mouse. I got it, this is actually a keyboard and mouse with a wireless connector and uh, this keyboard and mouse the reason why I got the one that is connected together I, I don't want to have to have two wireless um, connectors placed in, in the dongle so I just got only keyboard and mouse together that has one shared connector. This is a wireless keyboard and mouse. This is the connector for the both keyboard and mouse. And this is the most convenient way of connecting keyboard and mouse to your Samsung desk. So right away, I'm going to place this here. Then 
I'm going to connect the wireless connector to this to this uh, dongle. So here we we'll have it connected to the dongle. Okay. So the next thing now to do is to connect the screen. I'm going to detach this from my laptop and close the laptop down. Then I'll connect it to the desk, to the Samsung setup. So right now, I'm going to close this laptop. Then I will use the laptop as my um, connector. And then I will extend, I'll put the the HDMI connected to that port I showed you. Okay. Now, after the connections, after this dongle is connected, you need a power source to be able to power the connection to be able to serve the data from the Samsung over to the monitor. So I have the power source from here. So I'm going to connect it directly to the dongle. Sorry, I'm trying to manage space here. Okay, so our Samsung desk is ready. And now you can see the display has changed to a Samsung desk display. So now I need to activate the phone and we can use the Samsung desk. Now don't forget, this is our keyboard and our mouse to be able to operate it. So now I'm going to, I'm going to open the Samsung and now you can see that the Samsung desk is fully functional. Now, see, it's fully functional. You can see all the icons looking just like a desktop computer, just like a PC, you know, where you can access everything. Now, I'm trying to use the mouse to access most of what we have here. Okay, so yeah, I can open up the, you can see the screen with all the apps in the phone and uh, I can open up anything. Let me look for Chrome. Even the scroll wheel works too. Let me look for Chrome. I think the best, the best um, use of Samsung Dex is usually the internet part of it because you can switch from the mobile um, version of the browser on the desk to a desktop version of the uh, browser. So here I can switch to a desktop version of uh, the browser. Now with this, you can see I'm browsing. This is actually my clinical website there running. Okay, so Samsung Desk actually made most of these things very, very accessible and seamless. So these are some of the pictures I took from just this morning. I took this picture and uh, you can go through the pictures. Now you can see the picture is so wide that I can see almost everything, you know. So I can tell what the pixel or how the resolution of this picture is 
while you know browsing through the pictures you can see how widescreen it is so here i can make a judgment of the good whether a picture is nice or whether a picture is not okay so you can see that samsung dex actually uh, gives you an opportunity to i will show you the whole thing you know i have to take the camera and show you everything you know so that you have a bird eye view of all the things and the functionality don't forget that you can also use the the the, the samsung itself as a trackpad you you can use it to scroll and that's it you can use it and that's why i got this phone holder that i just showed you you know it makes it actually simpler for you to you know uh, reach and you know go through your pictures the way you like it okay so that's the samsung desk and i must tell you that yes the full features is not as functional as your pc uh, os because some people have said that this samsung desk is very identical to chrome os and i don't think it's far from the truth but it's still very functional it's something you can use i've used this to write articles that i post on my uh, clinic website fever.com i've used it because it affords me a wide screen to be able to type my script my article and uh, post i also used it to post the article and it was so seamless and beautiful I don't think you have any reason not to try Samsung Desk. You know, it works in a variety of these flagship phones made by Samsung, and I'm sure you're not going to, you know, have any negative um, opinion about it. So, I don't know if I've been able to convince you on this Samsung Desk. I, I think this is the version with the Note 10 Plus. I'm sure there are better versions. They come with different, you know, uh, display. You know, when you go from one Samsung device to the other Samsung device, uh, is this is the S23 Ultra there, and the Samsung Dex is quite different from this. But it doesn't make this one less functional. They still work the same. So please stay with us. Subscribe like this video if you do love what you're seeing okay so see you in the next one safe and peace